about the uh, distributor of the future? So the distributor of the future are going to be an extension of today's manufacturer's reps. Okay, let's look at it this way. Industry 3.0, right? We had I3.0, which was just automation, right? It, just think of it as just PLC programming. And then we have I4.0, okay? I4.0, Industry 4.0, you're still going to be doing automation going forward, right? You're still going to be using PLCs and HMIs on the line. You're still going to be doing that stuff, but you're going to be doing it better. Right? I mean, today it really doesn't matter what PL, I mean, I hate to break the news to people, but there is no PLC out there that's better than the other. I can build you the exact same program in Siemens, S7-1200, a Q series from Mitsubishi, or a Compact Logics from Allen Bradley, okay? They may all market their solutions as being the greatest, but I've been doing this more than 20 years. We've worked with all the platforms. They're all basically the same. Okay. Automation direct today is not the automation direct that was competing against the slick 500s 20 years ago. Okay. They were junk. They're not junk today. Okay. Within the next five years, if you're paying more than $500 for your base PLC, you're paying too much, pure and simple. <laughs> you're just, you're paying too much. Okay. So, and there's a lot of people out there who are still doing that. Okay. But you have to understand with the distributor of the past, it didn't really matter. Right. I mean, you never saw a manufacturer's rep that sold Siemens and Allen Bradley. They never sell both. This is true. What's the reason? Vendor agreements. That's right, vendor agreements. The manufacturer's rep either sold Siemens or he sold Allen Bradley. So each of the vendor reps, each of the vendor reps have their line cards. You know, they, they, I think they actually call it a line card. And it has the list of all the products that they sell. Same thing here. These are the distributors, okay? So this is line card A and line card B. This is distributor A or distributor B, distributor A. That's a distributor of the industry 3.0. Well, here's the problem. If you're gonna work with a distributor using this type of model and I go in to develop an enterprise solution and that enterprise solution for my Acme company, Acme did some acquisitions and what I've got here is business unit A, which I built, and it's all Allen Bradley, and business unit B, which I bought, and it's all Siemens. This happens all the time. Okay, so tell me, how can you get experts? Now I've got to work with multiple distributors because of the way this structure is designed, okay? The distributor of the future is going to specialize in industry 4.0. So you're still gonna have industry 3.0 distributors, people with their line cards who are manufacturers reps out in certain areas of the country. But when you're doing enterprise solutions, you're gonna be using an industry 4.0 distributor. And what is that industry 4.0 distributor gonna sell? What's best? They're gonna sell best. Best in class in each of the layers, right? So they're gonna sell best in class in cloud. They're gonna sell best in class ERP. They're gonna sell best in class in MES, best in class in SCADA, best in class in PLC HMI. And when a new best in class comes in, they swap it out and bring it in. The distributor of the future is going to sell the solutions, are gonna sell the products that help you build enterprise class solutions. This model works for machine builders, okay? It doesn't work when you're trying to digitally transform your organization. Doesn't, period, just doesn't, okay? The reaction that we've gotten over the last month and the experience that we've gotten over the last five years doing this is that I need to spend my time, 4.0 Solutions has to spend its time trying to change the industry because the market is moving it too slow. And the reason why, it ha and it's complicated as to why the market's moving as slow as it is, but it basically boils down to, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that the consumer is not aware of. And ultimately, if they were aware of it, they'd be able to affect the change. Change within our industry is gonna come from within. And I'm one of those people who's trying to affect that change, right? You're one of those people who's trying to affect that change, you know?